Americans are traveling again. But if your summer travel plans involve a rental car, be prepared for long lines and sticker shock. I think it's all over the country. Uh, there isn't one area where you can find a cheap rental car. Using a car right now is expensive, whether you're buying it or renting it. According to the travel website Kayak, rental car prices in the first two weeks of June are up 89% for the July 4th weekend, compared to with the same dates in 2019, and as much as 300% in some places. But even if you decide to pony up the additional cash for a vehicle, many reservations are simply not being honored by rental agencies. And travelers have reported showing up at rental counters only to be turned away because there aren't enough cars on the lot. So, why have rental cars become so expensive? And how long can we expect these high prices to last? It's a pretty classic supply and demand issue. There are not a lot of rental cars to go around because these companies downsized their fleets when nobody was using them. At the beginning of the pandemic, travel of any kind really collapsed, particularly air travel, which the rental car companies rely on very heavily. Uh, and so there was this a situation where they had to react very quickly to a very rapid drop in demand. For months, the pandemic transformed airports into ghost towns, which in turn wiped out about two thirds of the rental car business. What happens is all of the rental car companies react quickly, sell off their cars before they lose too much value, downsize their fleets, cut costs, downsize their staff, I mean, find every way to pinch pennies and stay alive, really. It was, a, it was a make or break moment for these companies. To survive, many rental car agencies sold off large parts of their fleet. It's a great time to sell cars too, because new car production has still, still has normalized. So they sold a lot of cars to build cash flow, but then they also sold cars in order to right size to demand. And so you had a double whammy uh, in terms of supply getting cut. And then you also had Hertz go bankrupt. In May of 2020, Hertz filed for bankruptcy. But Mazari sees a silver lining in the disruption. COVID was a blessing in disguise for this industry because it created pricing discipline and supply discipline. These companies basically had to cut their fleet size down by 35%. So this was a dysfunctional oligopoly. Uh, supply was never tight. This summer, consumer demand has returned, and now a new problem has arisen. There's an extreme shortage of new cars. When demand came back, it did not trickle back. It came back almost overnight. And you have these companies that have right-sized themselves to a market that basically wasn't using them before. Uh, and they just weren't prepared. We're also hearing is that these companies are so desperate to get fleet that they're buying cars in the used car market, which is in the auction market. So don't be surprised if you get into some rental car that has a lot more miles on it. Exacerbating the car shortage issue is another shortage, semiconductors. Automakers have said the production of new vehicles has been slowed because of chip shortages. New car production with a chip shortage isn't going to normalize until Q4. So for these companies, it's going to be very tough to add fleet back this year. And so this year, pricing is going to remain very high. In separate statements to the Wall Street Journal, both Hertz and Enterprise acknowledge that customers might have a tougher time securing a rental because of the spike in demand. Enterprise wrote, while still below pre-pandemic fleet levels, our fleet is not down significantly. A key challenge right now is the global chip shortage impacting new car availability. Hertz wrote, the microchip shortage is also affecting the car rental industry, but Hertz is working closely with our automotive partners to add new vehicles to our fleet as quickly as possible, while also moving vehicles to the areas with highest demand. If you have to rent a car this summer, Mazari recommends booking early and booking backwards. Typically, travelers book flights or hotels first, but that strategy won't work this year. You, you essentially, you just have to book in advance uh, and, and, and kind of pay, pay up for it and be prepared for that. Uh, you know, if you're lucky enough to get one. <laughs>